Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we are going to be getting right back at it and we're going to be trying to progress through Ulamore. Now let me go ahead and show you what stuff I have since I left. I do have a total of two maxed out legendaries. These are considered um, tier 10 epics as well, they're the same TS, so just consider them T10 epics. I do have replacements of maxed out tier 10 legendaries just in case we're going to need them. But we're going to be going through them acting as if we only have two and we'll be upgrading as we go just in case we need it so we can see the lowest amount of TS possible needed. Now I do have a Peach legendary mount at plus two out of four that gives me 7.5% block chance which is pretty good. It has too much speed but what can I do? That's what I was dealt with so it's okay. Uh, my runes are all leading towards evade and block right now. I believe even this is evade. Yes, 20% chance to be evaded on your first hit. And here I am just trying to look towards block and evade as well. They're not the greatest enchants, but they are actually adding to what I'm trying to do. Um, I am going to be going in with my evade chance. If I am feeling like it's a little weak, I will be swapping over to my block based uh, build. Right now I do have a total stats of 4080 and 20.75 evade, 16.55 block. Block cuts the damage in half, while evade you take no damage. So let's go ahead and go through the quest. Clear the dungeon of all enemies, which is going to be the first flag, Deep Forest. Go ahead and check out the rewards real quick. You're going to have a Scubby schematic, useless, a Robbie schematic, a very useless. What you're going to want is going to be some enchants for sure. And let's check this out. That is also useless. The rest of this is fodder. We already have tier 10 stuff, so all of this is completely useless to us. Let's go ahead and enter. Check out Omo real quick. He got a little bit of an upgrade. He has a 10% dual strike pump, 7.5% empower pump, 6% empower pump. Uh, SP skills deal 7.5% more damage chip, and first attack on opponent deals 7% more damage. He also has the same brain as last time, which is the 50% chance to heal and shield team for so-and-so when you hit an enemy, which is great. Galerius is rocking all deflect. He has 5% deflect there, 2.75 there, 3.75 there with his built-in 13.5 there. So that's pretty good. We have the while below a certain amount of health, heals received are so-and-so better. We also have a gain damage reduction the higher your health percentage is which is not the greatest. Do we have any more? Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and view that. Can we... We don't have enough gold to reroll that. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we can switch it. No, we don't have any. That's fine. That's fine. Well, that's what we're dealt with, so we're going to have to use that. We're going to put me as second, I believe, would be the best start because... I mean, regardless, we could switch it to Omo in the middle if they do have an attack for this. So it's going to be Hilarious, me, then Omo. Go and check this out. Okay, so I'm liking the new look. I don't know if you noticed, but the art is getting a lot more detailed as we progress through the game. This is actually pretty nice. Look at this little guy, little tree guy. Let's check him out. Okay, make sure your auto is off. Now, the first thing you want to do in every new zone, every new flag, is if you see any new familiars, which all three of these are, they look pretty cool. This guy's pretty awesome. You want to click on each of them. So here it says deal damage to the closest enemy deals damage to the weakest enemy. So right now, this is definitely the safest way, just reading him. I'm gonna be the weakest, and we're both the closest compared to Omo in the back. He's safe back here, he's chilling. Now back here, we have Ningmir, Nightmare, Nightmane, Nightmane? Oh, he's Night Nightmane, I don't know. Whatever his name is, that's his name. So he deals damage to the closest, deals damage to the weakest, and deals damage to all enemies. Okay, so he's the problem. Now let's go ahead and go back to this guy real quick. As you can see here, he has a lot of health. So he is gonna be the tank familiar. You don't really have to worry too much about him. Yeah, he hits kind of hard with his weak SP attack, but he's he's very slow at 571. Decent speed, but kind of slow. This guy, however, has decent health, not too high with a big amount of points spent into his damage and speed. He is almost twice as fast as the other guy. So we are going to have to make sure we take him out as fast as possible because he can poke at our little guy Omo here. So what we want to do is target him in the back if possible or get to him as fast as possible. So right now I'm rocking an ax. I can always switch my weapon to anything we might need. I have a few saved up and I'll show you that after this real quick. 
I'm gonna be using my zero SPs for now. Stock up and save. Looks like we're getting through this easy peasy. No problem at all. I'm gonna wait till I drop a little more health to start healing. Right now, everything seems good. Literally just clicking one. Just going at it. All right. You see there, we didn't really take any damage. Let's see if I can show you what I got here. Okay, yes, so view. And you can see here that I have tier 10 maxed out epic ax, tier 10 maxed out uh, spear, and a tier 10 maxed out uh, staff. I don't have a bow, unfortunately, or a sword, but I feel like that's good enough because the spear is pretty similar to the sword. The ax is its own thing, of course, a lot of self heal with the drain all, and of course the staff, which is just great for healing if you guys have too much problems staying alive in the dungeon it's a it's a, the biggest reason why i say leave your main hand as epic so you have those viable options but let's go ahead and go through the dungeon i'm gonna see if we can auto this by doing another two on my own and if i feel like everything's fine then i'll try autoing it no new guys here by the way now i did say target the guy in the back but right now it seems like i'm perfectly fine so I'm going to be progressing through here as normal. Okay. It does seem like I can auto this because I am just clicking one, which is really no heals at all. Let's try one more and then we'll auto. Clicking one seems to be safe, safe, safe. Okay. Let's go ahead and auto this. Alright, if there's any hiccups or anything at all to read, I will be back at that moment. As of for now, we're going to auto on through the dungeon. Enjoy the content, guys. Be right back. Alright, that was pretty easy. Honestly, we were able to auto with just two maxed out legendaries and a plus two out of four legendary mount. Got nothing but gold and XPs. XPs is always great. Let's go ahead and go to town. Alright, the cool thing is that was the first flag out of the way and it did not seem that challenging. So here we have the Sacred Grove. Clear the dungeon of all enemies. Another clear the dungeon of all enemies. We're gonna get some epic mats, just one, but epic mats are so useful in later games, so it's a good thing we're stocking up now. Let's go ahead and enter. We're going to have the same layout because it should have a bunch of the same familiars from the last one. Maybe one new familiar, we'll check it out. Let's go ahead and make sure auto is turned off. Okay. Ooh, that guy's new. He looks pretty cool, actually. Let's check him out. He, he's in the back. Okay, so he has a target damage and a furthest okay so he has a closest uh deals damage to furthest which is scary because his speed is the highest out of all familiars and a damage target enemy okay so we might have to switch to a spear we might have to switch to a spear a spear would probably be the best you could target the back line we're going to put me in the back just in case they hit the furthest and right now omo is technically the safest here so let's go ahead and progress on through here by manualing seems like we're not having any problems they're not able to get enough sp as you can see here they're not able to get enough sp to do anything about it so let's go ahead and try to manual one more with the axe okay i did not get this little guy's name menvin <laughs> menvin okay menvin and arkzog arkzog's a pretty cool name i love his design he's probably my favorite familiar out of here i love the little squirrel with the spear he's super cool and i think if i'm not mistaken you can get him as a mount, and you can actually use him as a mount skin. Um, if you're lucky enough to pull him from the mount cosmetics chest, I believe. Go ahead and try autoing this real quick. This is how it turns out. Yeah, it seems like we can actually auto through here with the speed we have. But if you don't have the speed that I have, since my mount does give a lot of speed, I highly recommend... Oh, see, actually, we're getting hit there pretty bad. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see the skills for the staff real quick i want to know if there's an attack furthest with the staff i don't remember there's a weakest enemy which will target him out so we're going to be trying the staff because it'll keep us alive and target the back line pretty easily which is what i'm looking for let's try and going through this with a manual run using the staff dead because i'm looking pretty weak that's kind of scary to look at okay just pay attention to their sp build him, these guys especially. What's his name again? Argzog. Argzog, you have to pay attention to his SP build. The moment he gets to that one, he's able to hit the back and target. So he can target out Omo or me. He's probably going to target me out of anything. So we're going to go ahead and use our one here. Our one. We'll get rid of him there. Okay, here, I'm going to have to heal or they're going to target me pretty bad. So I'm going to heal myself. And then I'm going to use my random 
Ooh, that did so much damage. Okay. I think that was... What move was that? Yeah, he got dual strike. He got dual strike and power. That's nice. Okay. So we're pretty good here. We can just probably auto. Let's try autoing this. Never mind. Seems like it's done. That was actually a fairly easy dungeon. That's great. We got some XPs and gold. Go ahead and continue on through. Wasn't too bad. I think the staff is the way to go right now. Go ahead and go with the staff for sure. Man, my guy looks pretty evil, huh? Let's go ahead and check out the third one, which is going to be Find the Feet. Oh man, it seems like it's going to be a bigger version of that rare familiar that's all around really good stats. Uh, let's go ahead and go on through. We're going to put Omo in the middle and me in the back, seeing as we had a guy that attacked furthest and weakest. So we're going to turn auto off here. And since there is a boss fam, uh, usually if you see the name of a familiar in the title of the flag, it means there's going to be a bigger mini boss version of the fam, which is going to be this guy, uh, Nightmare, Nightmane, whatever his name is. He is... It's like the hardest name to say ever. Um, he has pretty decent stats, as you can see. Pretty well spread out. Um, he's an all-rounder, and he does deal damage to all enemies, which is very scary at a mini-boss level. So we're going to have to make sure we take him out when you see him as the mini-boss version. But as of right now, Arkzog is the main priority since he can deal a lot of damage to us. I'm going to manual to build up as much SP as possible. If you can out of this, go for it. But I do recommend to a majority of players that you manual all of these flags that involve mini bosses. Now I'm gonna save SP because I'm still not that weak. Okay, saving SP. I'm getting heals off my Hilarious brain and my Omo brain, which is great. Still getting healed. Doing a lot of damage, saving a bunch of SP. And as you can see, my SP is building up a lot faster. That's because his SP is only at, uh, his speed is only at 971. And his speed is at 902, and we'll take a look at my speed right now. My speed is at 1060, so I build SP faster. If your speed is faster, your SP will build faster. But just know that if you're a tank or bait, your speed does not really matter because you're there to take hits. Okay, this is going to be a health shrine, so we'll come back to that later if we need it. Come to this guy. Alright, so this is a pretty beefy team. Because this guy's in the back, chilling. I'm gonna see if I can target him out just to get rid of him real quick. Ooh, that's crazy. I should have hit the guy in the back. Um, let's do a random. Do a drain. It should be furthest. Oh, it's weakest enemy. So now it should hit him. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's do a random. It's fortunate, but at least we chunked him pretty bad. What's this? All enemies. That's nice. Let's try that out. Ooh, okay. Do the random again. Perfect. Now we can just 1 SP our way to victory. I'm pretty sure these guys won't do much. Let's go ahead and heal up the Hilarious Strain. Let's do another heal. I should have just done the Omo heal and save SP. Nice, we got him. Here we got him. Oh, he did not want to go with us. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Let's go ahead and check out what's over here. Get some gold on the way. Ooh, a lot of gold. Give me the gold. Okay. <laughs> this little guy is so cool. He's like on a little. I don't know what he's on. What is he on? I don't know, he's like floating around. This guy's so cool, I can't get over it. Okay, let's do the weakest right away. That is strange, because he is not the weakest. He's not the weakest. He should not be getting hit by that. That is very strange. I don't know how he's getting hit by that, but oh well. Do random. Zero SP, zero SP, heal. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Now, a big reason why I'm not so scared is because if you guys remember, I do have that health shrine in this in this level, so I'm not going to be panicking about it too much. What I'm trying to do is do as little enemies as possible so I can find him. There he is. So here I'm going to do nothing but zero SP no matter what. Zero SP, zero SP. I'll be fine. I should live through everything. Don't die though, guys. Do not die. You don't want to die while doing the zero SP strat. Now... We seem pretty good. We might not even have to go to the health shrine if we get enough heals off here. Let's check it out. Nah, I, I think it'd be safe. Just because he is going to be getting wailed on. So go ahead and get that SP shrine. Yes, let's pump it over here. And wish me luck. Let's check this out. Hopefully he doesn't have any Arkzog. Surrender to the Royal Guard invader. Do it. Or that's a paddling. <laughs> That's a pattern. Okay. Oh, okay. He has two. 
There's two of him. He is very scary. Okay. Um, unfortunately, my mount skill is spread heal teammates. Nothing major. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can do. What deals the most damage? I might just save my stuff for heals. See, that does similar damage to that, but it costs twice as much. So, if we can get the first guy... Damn, it's the bad guy. Okay. Um, let's try to just do some damage now, and then when we need the heals, we'll do the heals. Okay, so now we're needing some heals. That's not looking that good. I'll keep doing damage while Omo heals. Since his heals are really good. Let's do a drain here. Let's do a heal on Hilarious. Heal. Oh man, this is looking pretty bad. Okay. So let's do some damage. Oh no! I'm scared! Let's do a spread heal. Oh, that probably saved my life. Okay. Some more heals. We're running out of SP. This is not good. Okay. So let's get the guy in the back. We need to get one of them out of the way. That's the only way we can do this. Oh no, I hit the wrong guy. Okay, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm going to try a major revive. I don't like major reviving, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, see if we can do this. Now I'm gonna be in the back because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. Uh, let's do a random. Okay, let's do a closest. Not looking so hot, huh? Okay, we don't have any SP here, so I don't mind using a few more revives. We'll check it out. We should be able to do this. It seems very possible. Let's go ahead and do closest, okay? Now, just to save on the revive, I'm going to do a regular major healing potion on him since he's already low enough to where I don't mind using it. I'm going to heal to keep myself alive. Yes, we got one out of the way. That should be dramatically easier. Keep healing me to stay alive because I do the most damage. Okay, heal me. Yes, let's heal me again. Let's heal Omo. Perfect. Awesome. We got through that perfectly. That was scary. Oh, also, by the way, guys, if you do see these uh, Bokia 1100s here popping up, I'll go ahead and show you what that is, just so you aren't confused at the end of this. Okay. Now, here we can continue, or we can go to town. I'm going to go ahead and continue, just so I can auto on through this dungeon and get the loot. And if I die, oh well. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Go and auto on through here. There you go. Awesome. So that's going to be the end of the dungeon. We got some XPs and gold. Now let me go ahead and show you what this Bokia 1100 is. Let's go to town. Awesome. We got some more rune fragments. Okay, so before we continue off to this dungeon, let me just go ahead and show you what is going on with that. Here. Now, the reason why I haven't been recording is uh, I'm trying to stock up on stuff here by playing, focusing more on the game, and also focusing on other things in real life. But for now, let me go ahead and show you what I'll be focusing on in here. If you grind, you get some of these little things in the bottom, and you're able to actually save up and purchase things in the store here, like cosmetics. Or you can go to the other tab, and you can see that there's regulators here, critter jelly, they're all capped out at 10. Um, opponent cream, all this great stuff. I recommend if there's any events, you farm like crazy to get all this extra stuff. In my opinion, the best things to get here are the fleece and the pinions. Now, I'm not really worried too much about it because I have my own strat on getting fleece and pinions, but fleece and pinions are the best thing to get here. Right now, I was just trying to focus on catching up, so I got major gold potions. I know it's not the best thing to get, but I got gold potions because my gold's been looking kind of bad. And I also got major experience tombs, and I got a few major item find screw uh, scrolls, but I've been using them, so. Yeah, that's what they're used for. They're only here for two weeks, and I believe the last day is tomorrow. I wanted to make a video on it, but I've just been so busy. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's why you're going to be seeing those, so just kind of disregard them, because by the time they're out, you're probably already going to be past the event. Or you already know about the event, more than likely. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on to our first dungeon. This is going to be Calvalabla. This guy's dungeon. <laughs> okay, so he's going to be giving us 50 big ones. That's nice. Let's go ahead and enter. Actually, let's see if there's any, any new stuff here. Does not seem like it. Mud. Mud's pretty good. <laughs> if we get any. Let's go ahead and enter. Now, the best... Oh, I forgot. You get to use your own team here. Okay, so we're just going to add me because that's all we need. Do I have me? Yes, I do have me. Add me. Should be my account right there. Yes, and we'll accept. Nice. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and auto on through this, and I'll stop at the boss. Enjoy the content. Oh 
Holy jeez, stop sacking my kingdom. <laughs> you worthless slime, I'm a king. Kneel or face my spear. <laughs> okay, so this part um, actually might sound different. I accidentally have some corrupted audio, so this is going to be more freelance, but here you go. He has a closest enemy, closest enemy, random enemy, and another closest enemy but with a drain. So he's not really too crazy, he's more of a tank than anything. Um, he has a slow speed, low attack, so um, really honestly if you have anyone that does more damage I recommend targeting the back line. Uh, the random enemy might hurt, but in my opinion you guys should be okay with everything here. Okay, yeah, Arkzong would be the one I would try to target out first um, over anyone else here. And then maybe you can prioritize the guy up front since he is going to still be wailing on you a little bit. Um, but Arkzog should be target number one in my honest opinion. That's if you don't have any good carries or if you're trying to do with fams only. Um, the guy in the middle really isn't too uh, worrisome. So um, if you are having trouble, try targeting the guy in the back. I'm going to go ahead and auto this so I can go ahead and get to the end of this. Give me one second. Alright, awesome. So it looks like we just got some experience in gold, like always. Let's go to town. Awesome, 50 big ones. Let's go. Okay, we're going to be going to the next flag. It says, Frigid Seabed. We're going to be clearing the dungeon of all enemies. We're going to be getting 4k gold, not too bad. Let's put me second, the old traditional way, just in case I have no furthest attack. This should be the safest. Ooh, actually this familiar right here is really, really good. I'm going to see if I can make a video on her soon. She makes one of the better familiars for healing. I believe the best healer in the game. Let me just make sure I have auto persuade with gold. Okay. Alright, everything's looking good. Alright, let's go ahead and make sure we have auto off. Let's check her out. So she has a closest enemy, weakest enemy, and random enemy with very high speed and damage. So her random enemy is going to be devastating to Elmo, so we have to make sure we kill them as fast as possible. So I'm going to be spamming my closest ability for now so we can get some SP saved up just in case we need those heals. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're already taking a lot of damage. It's a good thing Elmo has a really good brain to give us shields and heals whenever we hit. Okay, it's not too bad. I think we're only looking weak because we keep spamming, spamming our one. Yeah, I'm spamming my one and they're losing a lot of health. So let me try healing right now. Okay, cool. Yeah, it seems like if we put auto on, it should fix itself. Let's try that out. Okay. Let's try one more just in case. If everything looks good here, then we'll just leave it on auto until the end of the dungeon. All right, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and auto on here and I'll see you all at the loot recap screen. All right, it was looking like I was dropping pretty low, so here is the area where you might need to add more total stats or play a little safer. Um, I might swap off of the staff here and do something a little more damage dealing. Awesome, I passed that. Let me check out my skills before anything. Skills. Closest, that's a lot of damage. Furthest, that's a lot of damage. Closest, three. Now that's what I'm looking at right there. Cool. Okay, we're gonna try the spear for now. Let's go and try that out that many mount cuts nothing too great right now okay so we're gonna go ahead and progress on with the spear to see how it goes dungeon of all enemies usually if it's the same thing it will uh, include another new fan maybe two um cutter jelly let's go ahead and check out this real quick Is anything different here uh, let's see go ahead and enter it seemed like Oma was safest in the back here so let's keep him in the back Go ahead and turn off auto. And here's another one of those mermaid ladies. It's the same thing again, surprisingly. They seem to be a little stronger though. And they're coming in teams of four. I don't know if the last ones were teams of four or not, but go ahead and damage all. Boom. It looks like we're gonna have to manual here because we got pretty low right off the bat. Let's go ahead and keep healing with Homo for now. We'll be doing all the damage with our characters. I think it would be smarter to take one out at a time. Because they all pretty much attack 
at the same time in succession. So here I can do this one because it'll wipe her out. I need that heal really bad right now. Okay. That wasn't that great of a heal. Okay. I think they're faster than me. I think they're faster than me and that's what's scary. Okay. Here's another one. Let's see her speed. <clears throat> She's a tad bit faster than me, which is pretty bad. Now, this one is what? Furthest? Furthest? We can actually take her out here, I think. Almost. We're super close. Okay. Bun heal. Brain. Damage furthest. Nice! Looking good. Okay. We're doing pretty good here. So let's go ahead and go on up. A little faster than I wanted it to be. So here I do not recommend autoing. Unless you're really comfortable doing it with your setup. But here I do recommend manualing. Go ahead and do furthest, because I can consistently do furthest with my character. Go ahead and do drain, keep myself alive. Do furthest again with this target. Furthest, boom. I'll do a heal, that's unfortunate. And here I can do attack all, so I can take the girl in the back and maybe the front one, depending. Almost. Closest here, closest, nice. So here I'm going to use zero SP so I can try to get some heals off. Perfect. Not the most amount of heals, but. Better than nothing. Okay. We're looking a little low on my character, but I am the bait, so that makes it twice as scary. Um, there's four of them here. Let's go ahead and target out the back line. Nice. Okay, I think she got deflected by Hilarious as well. Ooh. Yeah, something happened there. That was pretty bad. That was pretty nasty. Let's go ahead and take out the back line. Oh my. It's heal. Oh, that was a really nice heal. Okay. Rain. Backline, closest, backline, closest, heal, zero SP. Perfect. Okay. The spear looks like it's working pretty well. I could have probably tried the staff because it also attacks backline and could actually keep me alive, but I think um, I needed more damage for this run than anything. Go ahead and check her out. See what she's doing here. Another team of three. Okay. Let's attack the backline like always. Let's heal with Omo, drain with Hilarious, backline. So here I'm looking pretty low. I'm gonna try to get a mount skill off if possible. Might die. I might die. Okay, let's go heal. Okay, perfect. This is fine. This is fine. I need to get that mount skill off though. Really bad. Here I have enough for the mount skill. I'm gonna heal and then mount skill. We pretty much have a small little reset there, which is pretty nice. We kind of didn't really need that mount skill. I think we're fine without it. I'm gonna auto see where they're at. I don't think there's any more fams. Ah, one more fan. Looks like it. Okay. Oh, that hits so hard. These guys are very deadly. Gotta keep the sustain up. Since he's already healed, I'm going to 1 SP closest. I'm gonna closest her out. Okay. Target the back line because it's the weakest. Heal. Attack. She'll probably get killed by deflect, so I'm not too worried about her. Let's do drain to stay alive. I'll do attack all three. There you go. Okay, here we definitely, definitely look like we need some more TS. So we got two gems, which is awesome. Some gold and XPs. Go to town. All right. So critter jelly is always nice. Always, always nice. So here we're going to have Blory. Blory? Seems like a tank name for some reason. Um, I'm not sure if I want to use the staff anymore. I'm feeling pretty scared. We'll try the, I mean the staff, the spear. We'll try the spear again. And we'll have the same layout. But I feel like here we're going to need a TS jump or we're going to have to switch to the axe. I might just switch to the axe. The axe seems like the best thing to use here. Let's try the axe. Okay. This is nothing but Blory, actually. And he sucks. <laughs> no offense to Blory, but... He's closest enemy, spread heal teammates, and deals damage to all enemies. So, he's going to be healing himself a lot. So, you're going to want to focus one out of the game. Because I feel like if you just let them do their thing, they're going to keep healing, attack all, healing, attack all. So, their speed is actually slowish, but it's still pretty decent. So, we're going to want to take out one at a time here. Let's do close. We might even be able to auto this if it's just... Yeah, they're not even healing yet. They're not healing. Okay, it seems like this is pretty easy. I'm just gonna try autoing it. If, if it's all blurry, this should be easy. I'm going to auto the, the rest of this. 
But it's a good thing we switched to the axe, because the axe has a lot of attack closest. It seems like... Okay, yeah, it's definitely a full team of glory. So I'm going to go ahead and auto-run through this dungeon, and I'll see you all at the end. Okay. BRB, BRB. Are you looking for my jewels? No. You run the jewels. Okay, so... Is he saying BRB or burp burp? I think he's saying burp burp. <laughs> burp burp. Okay, so this guy is uh, same thing. So just you can probably auto him, honestly. It doesn't seem like he'll be doing much. Yeah, he's pretty audible. Okay, there's one more familiar here, I think. These guys are just getting destroyed. Destroyed. Oh, they don't even stand a chance. It's disgusting. I hope we get more of those guys. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Awesome. We got some XPs and gold. That was probably the easiest flag I've had in a very long time. Hopefully that leads to the dungeon? Yes. Okay. So, Broken Abyss. Find and defeat whatever his name is. Melmarn. Okay. 50 big ones. Let's go, guys. Okay. Any good drops here? Any dwarfs? We got some mud. Go ahead and enter. And I will be switching to another one here. Just so it can be a little faster. Let's go to uh, Dual Destroyer. That seems pretty good. Okay. He's pretty scary. I wouldn't mess with him. Oh my. Yeah, these guys are just getting whacked. Oh, that's a new familiar. That is a new familiar. That's a new familiar, guys. Let's go ahead and see if I can catch him real quick. There he is. There he is. He looks super cool. Look at him. No, he's dying. Stop. Okay, okay. We have to make sure he's not in the front because I have X door on this guy, I think. And X door hits hard. Okay, here, we might be lucky to see him. No, okay. We need to stop him immediately. Is he here? No. No, we're not getting him anymore. That's not good. Okay. We'll see if we can get him here. I want to show you guys him. If anything, we'll see him afterwards, but I really want to show you while we're in the dungeon. No, he keeps dying. <laughs> Why are you up front, my guy? He must be a tank. Which is weird, because we already have Blory. Hey, get out of my way. I'm so close to the Melvant. Melvantis? I'm so close to the Melvantis. Oh, he's a little Melvin. That's so cool. You can't stop me in my search. All right. Let's see what you look like, Melmarn. Deals closest, or deals damage to the closest enemy. Pretty cool. He has little cool effects. Heal self. He's pretty annoying. Heal self. Deals damage to target enemy. Okay. You would have thought this animation would have been targeting enemy, but I guess not. Uh, heals target teammate for so-and-so. They need to switch those. <laughs> I don't know. They need to switch those. But that's pretty cool. He seems like a healer tank. He's very well-rounded. Uh, you might want to take him out because these girls in the back deal the most damage. Or, in my recommendation, you just take out the back line first, if possible. If you have any spears or uh, any kind of staffs, that, any, anything at all that really hits the back end or attack all, that is what you want to do if your carries aren't the strongest carries. That would be what I prioritize. Or if you're trying to get through here with familiars only, I know there's people that like doing fans only, uh, for these dungeons at least, that is another option. So I do recommend taking out these Arnie, or Henry's, Henry's, whatever they're called. Take them out first. I'm not sure if I showed you her moves, but yeah, that's her moves. It's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and auto on through this. We can go see that shark guy. He looks pretty cool. He looks cooler than the boss. Okay, we got some XP's, yada yada, blah blah blah. We got some gems, that's cool. And we're about to get some more gems. Some big ones, let's go. We'll be back, let's check out that familiar. Samark. Closest and weakest, okay. So he's really kind of a chump. He's kind of a chump, you don't gotta worry about him. That's all I wanted to make sure about, guys. He is a chump, don't worry about him. Okay. Go ahead and go to quests. Go to the third area's first flag. Let's check it out. Clear dungeon of all enemies, usually pretty easy. I'm gonna keep it the same with Omo in the back. Let's go ahead and accept. All right, turn auto off. So we have Duatena, <laughs> Duatena, which is closest enemy, a little punch. He's like, uh, 
Heals target. Oh, oh yeah. And damage to close enemy. Oh, some belch action. Okay. So he's pretty cool. He's kind of useless. He's a little lame. <laughs> it looks kind of cool though. There's a little waterfall beard. That's pretty creative. And we have LL here. LL is pretty cool. I think he looks pretty cool. Look at him. He has his little armor. He's a little shocky guy and a water background. No, this is an electric guy. Why does he have water? Who knows? Okay. This guy's pretty cool. It looks like it's introducing elements soon because there are elements in the game, but I don't think elements are in this next tier. I believe they're in tier 12. Okay, so closest enemy. Weakest enemy. He's going to be annoying. And target enemy. Yeah, look at his speed and damage. Look at his little health. Oh my god, we can target him out. We need that spear. We need that spear back. Okay. Let's go ahead and manual. Oh my god, that hurts. Let's go ahead and random see if we can get rid of him. We can't. Drain. Closest. Okay. And heal. Okay, cool. I'm going to switch to the spear because I believe it is the best option right now. Maybe the staff? Let's try out the spear. Let's try out the spear. Let's try out the spear. If we're having problems with health after we kill him, then we're going to need the staff. Okay, let's check this guy out real quick. Okay, so spear. Oh, that's so nice. I'm so close to killing him. Oh no, I just need some more health or more damage. Strain. Closest. Oh yeah. Oof, we got this. Heal. Closest. Awesome. Nice. Looks like the guy in the back got hit with his own deflect. What a loser. Okay, LL. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, man. Oh god. Boom. Drain. Boom. Oh, that's so gross. They're just getting destroyed. I think a full team of LL is the easiest, easiest encounter here. I think if he has someone beefing in front of him, he hits like a truck. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the boss fam is not LL because he will murder us. Oh God. Let's, let's target him out in the back. Drain. Target in the back. Heal. Okay. Heck yeah. We got a really nice empowered heal. Let's go. Okay. And save some SP here. Maybe drain a little bit. Nice. Okay. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and auto to see where this guy's at. Awesome. Man, LL just loves coming in packs of two, huh? Let's go. I am looking super weak. And now I'm not. Okay. Let's go ahead and go through this. Die. Die a little faster next time. Ooh. Cool. I'm going to persuade. See if he wants to come with me. Heck yeah. LL wants to be a part of the club. Let's go. He's not going to regret being with us. I promise you that. We are clearly the stronger team. Okay, another water beard guy. Let's go. LL, get out of here, my guy. Hope you deflect yourself. Deflect yourself right now. Do it. I'm going to let him deflect himself. Oh, he healed? Hell no. Get out of here. Okay. Go ahead and heal up just for the, just for the trolls. Just so we, yeah. Easy. Wasn't even worried about that dungeon. Look at that. LL wanted to join. Pretty cool guy. Awesome. Got some XP's and gold. Let's go to town. Now, he is very scary. Uh, looks like we can almost one-shot him, so I'm going to see what does more damage here. So, that is up to 4,000. Minimum of 2,800. Now, if we switch to the staff, what is stronger? I would believe the spear would be stronger. Hmm. That has a higher damage floor with a lower damage ceiling. Let's go ahead and check out the spear again. Okay, so the spear is better. The spear is better by far. The spear is probably the best option here unless we're having some health issues. Uh, all enemies, it's probably gonna be... Oh, look, there's a mythical mayor. Kimusaba. Yeah, all right. Like, we're gonna build Kimusaba here. Go ahead and enter. We're going to have the same layout. Seems like it was the safest bet. I don't think there was a furnace, was there? Oh, look at this guy. He's so ugly. <laughs> Let's check him out. He is... Close as close. He is trash. Okay, this guy does not have a furnace. Okay, yeah. So, you're just gonna target him on the back. He doesn't have any heals, right? Damage is horrible. That's good. So... One or zero 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 back line heals. You want to keep them up as much as possible. Drain closest, closest back line. I don't care. I'm taking him out before he does major damage. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice. So I don't know if you've noticed this. We've only used 
two legendaries this whole run. Just two. Just two legendaries this whole run. Which is pretty good. We actually didn't need to farm up these other two, which is unfortunate because I spent so much time doing that. But oh well. We are getting through with just two tier 10 legendaries. And uh, we have a selection of weapons, but I believe you could have gone through it with just the spear from what it seems like. Let's go and go on through. Here's LL. I feel like the last flag is going to make you need one legendary. Just watch, but hopefully not. Let's go ahead and take out LL in the back. Let's go ahead and drain here. He is hitting like a truck. Jesus. LL, you need to calm down, sir. As you can see, LL is becoming more of a threat, so you want to take him out as fast as possible. I noticed they didn't put the other guy here, the beard guy. I'm going to go ahead and reset with a mount skill. That did nothing, holy. Okay, the closest, did some damage. Oh my goodness, LL is becoming a menace. Did you revive him? Looks like we might need the TS. I might've spoken a little too soon. Okay, that was a nice heal. You might wanna put me, let's see if we can, he does, Never mind. that's scary. Okay, so we just have to make sure we keep Eularius in check. Nice, that deflect helped us out quite a bit. LL just destroyed his team. Go an auto to see where this guy's at. Okay, doesn't look like the dungeon is much further. Let's target the back line for sure, random. Oh, that was beautiful, beautiful luck. Let's go ahead and save some SPs here. Nice, that dual strike, just probably saved my run. Unfortunate that we had to use a major revive, but that's fine. Ooh, there's another ally here. This could be bad. Could be bad. Oh, a team of three. He's disgusting. Okay, let's move me to the front. I don't mind dying right now. Um, let's random. Okay. Yes, it seems like we have to do damage more than heal on this one right now. Let's heal him, though. Let's damage the back. Heal. Okay, he seems like he has more health than me right now. It seems like it's less, but... He does have a higher health pool, so he does have more health than me right now. Ooh, backline. No! What? That's backline, isn't it? He must have redirect. Okay. Uh, backline? Yeah, okay. Heal. No! Okay, let's hope this is the last familiar because it's looking pretty bad. Oh, no. We have another set. This is not looking good at all, guys. Oh, God. Okay. Wait, did I die or Eularius died? I don't remember. Oh, it's Eularius! We're fine! We're fine! I'm gonna use Major Revive. Heck yeah! Let's go. Put me up front, coach. No, no, no. Put me put me back. Put me back. Okay, so... Oh, God! Please! Heal him up. We can't do this! Okay. I don't recommend doing this ever, but in a situation like this, with he has no XP, he can take a hit or two. He does have a thousand health. Awesome! Okay. Get him out of here. Oh, I'm dead. Boom. That was cutting it very, very close. I had to use two major revive potions there. It does seem like TS is going to be a thing here. We're going to need more TS for this flag, I believe. Yeah, and defeat LL. I doubt we're going to do that without more TS, but we can try it. Let's try it with just two legendaries. He seems like he's going to be a problemo. Okay. Check out Waterbeard guy. Oh, I think I know else. I'm going to zero SP my whole way through this right now. Or not. What the heck? He doesn't even have that much damage. These guys don't even have that much damage. Get out of here. Go. What is going on? Let me try me in front. Maybe that'll help. Or maybe not. Maybe that's bad, but we'll try it out. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Go ahead and heal him up. Oh god, yeah, that's looking scary, guys. Forget that. Okay. I need to save this mount skill for when I really need it. It didn't seem like it did much last time, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Now, the key here is to find LL as fast as possible with as much health as possible. LL is... What is his target? Get him out of here, please. Random. Yes! Okay. Yes. Yes, I'm going to have to use this right now. That's unfortunate. Oh, my God. Okay. More TS is definitely needed. I might need the staff, actually. We can try the staff. 
if you survive. <laughs> if you survive, we can try this staff. Okay, let's go ahead and switch them back. They have all the SPs. Something is just destroying him, and I just don't know what it is right now. Something is destroying me, and I don't know what it is right now. Nice. Empowered. It seems like it's this guy. This guy, for some reason, hits like a truck. I don't know why. Does it cause anything? No, it doesn't. He's just a jerk. What a jerk. Okay. Let's try the staff. Maybe the staff is the best option. If you think about it, we only use the staff for the furthest attack, so. I mean, the spear. So the staff might be the best option. Let's check it out. For the whole dungeon, actually. For the whole flag zone. Oh, God. Take him out. Please, have mercy, only one. No! <laughs> okay, let's heal him up. Let's heal. We're doing good. He okay. Heal myself up. This is looking very bad. Let's go ahead and put him up front real quick. He died! No! Let's try Major. Okay. Now, we'll leave him up front just for a little bit. What is this? Target? All enemies? Versus... Oh, no, that's way better. Okay. Kill him up. He took the hit I wanted him to take. I'm not feeling comfortable with making him take any more. Do that. Good. Let's do that. Almost good. Watch him kill us. Get out of here. Thank you. My goodness. What a jerk. Please, no. I want to see the boss LL already. I, I don't want to see you guys anymore. You guys are jerks. Ow. I'm going to major health pod, I guess. Watch him be down here somewhere. And boom. So much damage already. Get out of here, dog. Okay. Drain. Get him out of here. No! Please! Mercy! Show me some mercy. Get out of here! LL, I swear, if you do it, if you do it, you monster, you are a jerk and a half. Get out of here. I don't think we can do this with just me. It looks like we're gonna need some TS. It looks possible if you get lucky enough for LL to come out early, but it depends on, oh God, no, I still need another familiar. Man, they put him as far as possible. I see him down there. Get out of here, LL. I'm not scared of you. Boom. No. Yeah. Oh God, you can do this. Just kill them in your honor. Kill them. Boom. I think he's scared of you. I think he's scared. He's gonna solo you so bad. That's embarrassing. Get embarrassed on, my guy. Okay. Oh, God. He's gonna just fart on me. <laughs> I'm gonna die. You are a coward, sorcerer. Stand and fight. Hmm. You like my Christopher Lambert impersonation? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, God. Okay, we gotta see his team, though. He has two water beards. As long as he didn't have that weird looking green guy, that green guy should be doing the most damage. I'm gonna go ahead and slap on some more total stats because I feel like that is what's holding me back. I'm gonna switch to uh, one offhand, giving me another 200 stats. So it looks like I'm gonna have three total legendaries here. Three total legendaries going in. We're gonna stay with the staff because the staff seemed like a pretty good option. Actually, did the heals really help? Like, I'm gonna ask myself that. Did the heals really help? I don't think so. I think the spear. Hmm, the spear might be it. I've been really digging the spear. Let's try it out. Let's try it out, guys. Okay. Here's LL. Right off the bat. Okay. Well, we do have more stats, which means our fam fams have more stats. He still hits like a truck. He's still hitting like a truck. Get out of here. Heal. Heal yourself. Oh my goodness. These guys are ruthless. Man, LL is a problem, huh? I, I hope I have enough um, total stats to get through here. Let's try this out. Okay, LL is looking very menacing there. I don't want to proceed, but I'm going to have to. Okay. Okay, so... Go ahead and do I want to mount skill right now? I think I'll go in the back. Okay, this is looking bad. Back? Okay, perfect. Okay. Here we can try to just heal up with normal heals. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to ask you. Okay, I 
that's a little reset, but this guy is hitting so hard. I think it's his speed. He's able to attack closest like crazy. He might have to be the new target after LL because LL is just, he's horrible. <laughs> so he's gonna be the target after LL. The last guy to focus will be Waterbeard. Okay, is there another path over here we can take? No, there isn't. Right on. Okay, this area is looking very, very scary. We should be able to attack Lusses that way through this. Just heal with Mama. And the less guys there are, the less damage they'll do to us. Man, they are just... Is there a reason he's not... Does he deflect back heals or something? Because he's not taking those heals at all. About time he took some heals. Jesus. Man, that's unfortunate. He does not want to heal. Please tell me. No! I don't care about SP Shrine right now. Oh, he's right there though! He's right there! Oh, this is a good run. This, is, this could be a good run. I'm gonna target you right off the bat. We do have SP Shrine. Oh, I need to heal him up. I don't want to do that, but I have to heal him up. Get out of here, dog. Get out of here. Cool. Okay, okay. We could do this. We could do this with the water beer, guys. Drain. Heal. Closest. Closest. Dude, hilarious. I don't know if you know this, but you have to stay alive. That is your job. SP Shrine. Yes. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Let's go ahead and try this. Let's go ahead and try this. <laughs> LL, please give me some mercy. Yes. Okay. So we're going to target him out in the back. What is this? Weakest? Furthest enemy. Boom. Okay. Not as much damage as I was hoping, but it did something. Heal. Okay. Furthest. Heal. He has to stay alive. His job is to stay alive. My job is to stay alive. We have to attack the furthest as much as possible. Heals. Okay. Backline. Yes. Heals. Heals. No. Okay. Heal me. Revive me, please. Yes. I'll probably heal him too. Yes. Okay. Closest. I'm going to try this random. If we hit him. Oh, no, but it destroyed everyone else. Yes. Get out of here. Yes. Okay. This is game boom! Heck yeah! So it looks like we have to have around three legendaries to safely get through here. You could probably do it with just two, uh, especially if you have a plus three out of four legendary amount. I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. And if you had a better uh, pet than me, I have a 30% chance to heal when I hit, which is terrible. I do have a lot of speed, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm a little bit of a hybrid build right now, but I only have a lot of speed because of my mount, unfortunately. But yeah. Um, it seems like everything was fine. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. I think we can auto the rest. We'll try one group. If not, I'm gonna leave. Oh god, it's LL Galore. Okay. Go ahead and heal. Boom. 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 Get destroyed. Let's go. Okay. Was that it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And just like that. We are finally done, I believe. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, we just have the last dungeon and we have to beat Trolls. Wonder if he looks like a troll. We'll check it out. 50 big ones. They're being very generous, huh? Anything here? Imu <laughs> Not that useful. Let's go ahead and enter. And again, we're going to use my guys. Try something else. See if there's anything faster. PG offense. That's pretty good. Go and try that out. Now, I believe if they hit me, they just get destroyed. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this, and if I see any new familiars or get to the boss, I'll stop there. But until then, enjoy the content, guys. Okay, we're creeping up on this cool-looking guy. He has a little flame gauntlet. He has two flame gauntlets. He seems pretty cool. Let's check him out. I like his big tooth. Two troll. Big boy doesn't like how you look at his tusk. Tusk says we must fight. <laughs> he seems very barbaric. Let's check him out. Closest enemy. A little jab there. Heals teammates. A little stomperoo there. A little body slam. Heals teammates, huh? That's pretty cool. Um, target enemy. He's nasty with that because look at his all around spread stats. He is going to be a problem. Drain health from all enemies. That's annoying. <laughs> He's very annoying. 
you're gonna want to target them out first versus these little ugly guys. I know these guys hit hard, but again, you are gonna have carries. He will be the problem. Troll, you want to target him out as fast as possible. I don't have to worry about that. I will auto on through this, but for you guys that are gonna have to probably struggle here a little bit or using familiars, you take out Troll first. Get rocked, my guy. Okay. Here's LL. And Nero. <laughs> Destroyed. Easy. Let's go. Okay. All right. Just destroying. He didn't want to join us. It's okay. We don't want water beards here. <laughs> we don't want your water beard here. Nice. And nice. Some gems. Nice. Three gems. Let's go to town. Okay, before I go ahead and show you guys the loot drops from anything, goodbye you and more. Goodbye, get out of here. We don't want you. We're now in Melvin's Genesis. Melvin's Genesis is one of the hardest areas, I believe. So we're gonna have to really try here. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to defeat all of these dungeons and get them all plus three. So I can go ahead and show you the rewards and trials. I'll be right back. All right, and I am back. As you can see, I went ahead and finished all three of the dungeons. And we do have another dungeon that came out, which is gonna be way too hard for us. I'm not even gonna try it. But it says, clear the dungeon of all enemies. Damage reduction is set to zero which means you're going to need block, evade, deflect, or anything like that just to get through this dungeon. So this is going to be a very hard dungeon for whenever I do want to approach this. The rewards right now are just going to be five stat points. Too bad. Um, but yeah, it's something I can't do officially right now, but it's fine. Uh, I will be coming back to those eventually when we do get stronger. But for now, they're going to be uh, just ignored for right now. We're going to go ahead and take a look at all the loot drops that we have. Or, as you can see here, tier 11. That's right, finally in tier 11. The so expedition, which is pretty similar to invasion as well. We're gonna go ahead and check out the drops and just click the one that I recommend. And here, the little chest. You'll see everything from before. But you'll see now that it's tier 11. And you'll see tier 11 legendaries. Tier 11 legendaries are looking really sick. I really like this hood. But yeah, you're going to be seeing all the tier 11 stuff. You're going to be seeing the tier 11 um, enchants, the tier 11 gear. Like, it's pretty cool. Like, honestly, all this is really nice. But yeah, that's going to be what you're going for. You're going to be going for legendaries here. I don't recommend any sets from uh, Expedition or Invasion ever. <laughs> so I never recommend any sets for Expedition and Invasion. And usually the mythics aren't that great, so I don't recommend those either. There's only a few mythics out there that are decent from the Expedition and Invasion runs. But those are none of them. Let's go ahead and go to Trials. Let's go ahead and just go here just to see how it looks. Just to see how it looks. Okay. So, <laughs> here we have two sets. I don't recommend either of these sets. This set used to be very good, but it's massively nerfed. And it's a six-piece set, which means it's a big no-no. <laughs> we have uh, Empower Chance, Conqueror's Fury. Not that bad for Empower Chance, but not needed since we're a tank. Or bait. Whatever. We're both. Whatever we want to be. 5% uh, SP skill damage. Not that useful either. Again, the only thing you're going to want from here is the legendaries. I'm hoping the legendaries will be enough to get us through the tier. I've heard that we might need a set, but we'll try it with all maxed out legendaries. Um, we do have some pretty decent fams. So again, you're going to want to be going for legendaries there. And uh, trials. Let's go ahead and go all the way over here to world boss. Go and see if there's any new ones. I believe there is... Yes, so now you have Brimstone. Now, I told you that Blinka at the beginning of this video was the best healer in the game. Here, if you go here, you will get a pretty similar, uh, almost identical familiar outside of the Expedition Realm here in the Tier 11 Brimstone. Let me go ahead and show you. I have a cool Mount Skin, a cool Water Aura, which I recommend trying to get those if you can. They're very hard to get. The really cool looking Mythics. They're not the greatest Mythics. They're not needed. They look cool, so if you get them, you can scrap them and you'll have that, that awesome looking cosmetic. Here we have a wall above 50% health, gain 5% absorb. That's nice and all, but we're not really going for absorb since it's the hardest stat to go for. 
Um, we have opinion here, which is always nice. Ignatus Raw Schematic, one of the best baits in the game, but I highly, highly recommend against farming this as a free to play, unless you really do want to buckle on down and try to get a nice mythic bait. I still think that Glars uh, is not necessarily a better bait, but is extremely good and literally on par, like going at it with Raw. So if you can just get that schematic, that'd be great. Even a Lattice is a pretty safe pick as well. Um, these sets here, there's two small sets. I don't recommend any of them because they're just not what we're going for. This is Absorb Chance and we're not going for any Absorb at all. I recommend the Legendaries if possible. Now, this is going to be some schematics. If you want, you can get some of these schematics. They're pretty decent. Like, uh, I'm not sure about this guy, but where is he at? The Chedza Naiki is a very, very good DPS. Uh, in my opinion, one of the better DPS at this level. And um, Yushido is a good bait. In my opinion, a very good bait at this level. But again, Glars and Aladdis will outshine Gushido. And I'm already making um, Drazig, which I believe outshines Chedza Naiki as well. So you're going to want to go for the legendaries here. And as I was saying, Dual Lag. Dual Lag right here is the best healer outside of Expedition in the game, period. The best healer in the game, period. Don't care what anyone says. He is one of the best. People running extremely hard ancient dungeons in current tier are running with either Dulag or Blinka in their teams because they're that good. So that's the drops from Brimstone Syndicate. Let's go ahead and check out Extermination Tier 11. Go ahead and check out the drops. We have some more really cool cosmetics here that you can get. A really cool looking um, helmet. Again though, these are not needed at all. These bonuses aren't that great. This one's nice, but I mean, we're not going for damage reduction, and it is, again, a mythic. It's really hard to specifically farm this item. Very nice cosmetic, though. Uh, we have uh, the Kaleido schematic, as always. We have another set here, which is pretty nice for healers, but it's not worth it. Um, in my opinion, just stick with the legendaries. And we have the same uh, schematics as last time. That is going to be for extermination. Again, this is where you get one of the best uh, baits in the world. Or in the game, sorry. The, one of the best baits in the game, which is going to be large dose. You can come here and farm here for, I believe, two to three tiers. I highly recommend coming here for your bait. Uh, Melvin Factory. Let's go ahead and check it out. Tier 11. Okay, here we have one of the coolest <laughs> weapons in the game. But again, it's just not worth going for. If you get it, cool. But you're not going to be taking it with you unless you're really going to be grinding up as a DPS and I still don't recommend it because it does get outshined later on in the game. Uh, that's going to be Proton Beam Zapper. We also have an offhand here, I believe, Windstalker. Uh, again, it's uh, dealed more damage, not something we're really going for right now. We have this mystery set, which is nice, but it's a damage dealing set. Again, I don't really recommend it, especially because it's, uh, what's it called? Neck and Ring. Never a good combination in a set. Um, go for the legendaries. Here, they have a lot of really solid, um, really, really solid schematics. Like, Melborg used to be the best damage dealer in the game. Mervlin is really good, too. Ninjin's okay. Uh, Macho Mad Dog Melly Man is a very good tank. If you need a tank and you drop his schematic by chance, I recommend making him. I really do. I, 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 if you're going to be farming this area and you have a lot of Melvin chests, you could farm him, but... Again, as a free-to-play, you would be having to come back here. It's taking you away from your Drazic grind. And I really do believe if you wanted to go tank and then you get a bait, all you got to do is change all your stats and the health. And you could be a tank while you have a bait and DPS fam without needing Macho Mad Dog Melly Man. Melvu is really, really good because he gives a lot of block. Um, Geove is okay. But again, you're just going to be going for the legendaries. I really think these are niche scenarios. Like if you get... If you get one of these schematics and you're for some reason just getting a lot of Melvin chests, then yeah, you can go for one of these that you think is best. Whether you're missing a good healer, which you're not going to because you're going to have dual lag if you go for dual lag. Or if you're going to need a tank, which I still recommend against because you could just become a tank temporarily while you have a bait familiar, which are going to be already out in this tier. Just go for the legendaries. <clears throat> so here, we're going to go to good old netherworld. Let's go ahead and check it out. We have some really awesome, <laughs> these look like Doom Guy, uh, Doom Guy cosmetics. Really cool. 
We have a Neck Huntress Savior. The skills that cost SP gain 20% healing bonus. It also starts giving you some elemental damage and resistance, which is pretty cool, but unneeded right now. Um, especially because we're not healers. This right here, heal the first uh, heal the first teammate that drops below 30% health back to full. Now that's cool and all, but again, we're not healers, so it's not really needed. Um, opinions are great. Uh, Dreneth is awesome, but I'm still unsure if we're going to make him. We're going to try to make him. But I think our first mythic will still be Tethius, but we'll check them out. Now, here are some pretty cool legendaries and a set here that's not really that worth it. It's a healer set. I'm not even going to look at it. These are some pretty cool looking legendaries, though, and they do give elemental damage. So another reason why I recommend farming uh, Netherworld is because they have elemental damage in their legendaries. Very, very strong. Um, let's go ahead and check out the weapon. Let's see what it is. It says launcher. It could be either a bow and arrow or a laser. If it's a laser, that is really cool. But um, we won't really be needing a laser because it might not heal us that well. And I don't like using weapon main hands. But it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. You're going to want to be going for the electric damage um, legendaries because they do give that nice little sweet bonus. And of course, the same old traditional um, schematics. Pretty good to go for for there go ahead and go back to or lag go ahead and check him out tier 11 see if he gives any elemental he should yes he does he gives the same elementals cool and he has the same old stuff which is the Gorlag pain accessory it's an accessory you have the cosmetic pet and the mount this mount is really nice he's a purple version of um pretty much or lag he's pretty cool okay Vatnal's whip 10 percent chance to redirect the damage to the teammate with the highest health see Vatnal's whip is really nice as a DPS or as a bait, but it's just it's just not worth going for, especially if you're doing your Drazic grind and you're doing nothing but Netherworld, you do not want to sidetrack yourself over here. It's, it, to me, it's never worth it, especially for a mythic item that you're gonna replace. This item right here, now this one's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, this set is pretty nice. It gives 5% in power chance while using a spear. And you gain and your familiars gain 8% increased damage. It's nice, but it's so niche, it's not really useful, in my opinion. I I kind of highly recommend against it. I still think you should just stick with um, body helmet and um, neck ring and offhand legendaries if possible. Keeping your main hand epic until you absolutely have to get a legendary later on in the game. I always recommend that. So that's gonna be the drops for tier 11 there. Let's go ahead and go to the raid so I can show you the new familiars and the new loot. Goodbye, Gorbin's Rock and Ruckus. Gonna miss you, but not gonna miss you at the same time. We are now going to Charred Expanse. Now, let me tell you right now. This is one of the most aggravating uh, raids you're gonna have because they do percentage-based uh, damage versus regular traditional damage. Let's go ahead and check out the drops on Heroic, of course. So we're gonna have a bow and arrow. Not that good. Don't even want to read into it. And a ring... It's pretty nice. Honestly, this ring is pretty nice because you, you can get up to 25% absorb chance based on the weighted chance. It's pretty nice. It can come in clutch. Honestly, if you get this ring, you could consider using it for this tier if you're having problems as a tank or a bait. It is very nice to have, but I don't recommend going out of your way to get it. If you get it, that's nice. If you don't, it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Just go for the legendaries. The legendaries here aren't as good as the ones in World Boss. As you can see, they don't give any percentage of electrical damage or any kind of elemental damage. So these are nice, but if you can get your legendaries from World Boss, so much better. But these are still pretty good. This is the camo set here. Probably one of the best DPS sets of all time before um, elemental damage came out. It's very strong. If you're a DPS player and you are struggling, you could look into getting the set to pass to the next area. This is a very, very strong set. It gives you less shields, but you do up to 40% more damage. You have quad strike chance and you have a 5% chance to ignore enemy defenses, which is very, very nice. So if you're a DPS and you're really struggling with the legendary route and because of your familiars, since you're going to have to be getting a tank and a bait fam, which is harder to get versus getting a DPS fam and a tank fam or vice versa, then go for the set. Honestly, you could go for the set. You could go for the set and you could still utilize um, legendaries 
as well like you don't have to get the full set you could just use the set's main hand which is a pretty strong main hand but i do recommend getting the set if you are a dps if the legendary route is not working for you the familiars here are not going to be useful to you guys at all since we're not going to be going for them um i wouldn't even look at any of these they're not really that great and the mythic familiars are a nightmare to make trust me i am trying to make rigneous right now on my main account and it seems impossible so your main drops that you're going to want to go for as a tank or bait blind souls is a really compelling option if you get it don't hunt it down if you get it keep it use it on the tier if you're having problems but don't level it up until you've maxed out your legendaries that you're going to try using and if you're having a problem proceeding to the end of the area before i release the next video then go ahead and level up that ring and replace it with whatever you have and it should help you out tremendously but i don't recommend doing it unless you cannot pass it with your basic legendary setup now seeing as we needed three legendaries for the last run i do think we're going to need four maybe even five maxed out legendaries here if we don't have a plus three mount and even with the plus three mount we might need them all i'm still unsure i'm going to have to do some testing but for right now i recommend getting four to five maxed out legendaries we're going to go ahead and go through the raid so i can show you the familiars now i'm going to have me on my team let's go ahead and clear this let's go ahead and put me on here right there i'm going to swap to something that'll pretty much solo everything let's do solo live no let's do let's do i should just do siji off because that keeps me pretty healed and does a lot of damage so let's go with Bubba, good old DPS there. And we'll have... He's a bait. Yeah, he's a bait. Very, very high stand bait, but it's still good enough for Bubba. Me here, because I don't matter. Bubba matters more than me. And we'll have another tank, which will be Doughboy in the back. Okay, there you go. We have two tanks. And, um... One bait. One DPS and me. Now, it's going to look like they're doing a lot of damage. It's going to look like they're doing tremendous damage because each one of these familiars, I believe, for some reason, if you hit them, you'll see my health dropping. Watch, I'll hit one person. Let me see if it's this one. There's a few familiars here that if you hit them, they will drop your health percentage down dramatically. I think it's like 10 or 15%. So it may look like you're losing, but you're faster than them if you have decent carries. Like You won't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and take a look at these familiars. We have two here so far. Okay. We have one here so far. Let's go ahead and check them out. Davirek. If I remember correctly, this guy is going to be annoying. So check him out on the bottom. Remove 15% health from the enemy team the first time you take damage. Usable once per adventure. Okay. So he has damage weakest. Damage to all enemies, which is disgusting with the speed he has. These two are deadly. You might run a run you might want to run two baits in this setup for sure. So if you have one bait and he's not too decent, you might want to get another one. For sure, trust me. Uh heals teammates. So he's also a healer. And he heals all of his teammates. And attack random. That random is going to be nasty against your DPS. Very, very nasty. So you're gonna want to take out Davrick first. I can already tell he's gonna be the biggest problem. Look at my health. Like, look at my team's health. And we are ex extremely strong, but only because if you keep hitting them, you just take 15%, 15%, 15%. Let's go ahead and check him out. Hopefully we can see the other guy before killing him. Okay, we got another guy right here. He does, he seems like he's an attack dealer. He has the same thing as the other guy, the 50%. Okay, deals so-and-so damage to the closest enemy, attacks two times. So he attacks twice to the closest enemy. This guy does damage to target enemy, which is very deadly, and to self, which means he's buffing his damage to do that target enemy. He is going to also be a problem. He is probably your second option to target out since his speed is very slow. Uh, deals damage to the weakest enemy and to himself. He does a lot of self damage, and uh, he does boost his attacks a lot, so he's pretty strong. And drain health from all enemies. He is a very strong threat. I recommend going against him, but I still think that Davirek is still much more menacing target only because he can just keep poking at everybody let's go ahead and auto on through these guys it's gonna look like i'm gonna die but i'll be fine as you can see my character has like what 600 health 700 health 
and I'm still here. It's only because it's percentage-based damage that they're doing to me. They're not able to get any hits on me so far. So you'll be fine. Okay. And even with evade, this doesn't matter. It can still hit you with evade because it automatically pulls from your health, which is why my guy is so weak right now with evade. Okay, drip and go. Shield self, he's the tank for sure. He's shield self zero SP. And he has attack closest twice. That's a cool little animation, a little burp. Uh, strongest enemy. And damage to yourself and closest enemy. That is a lot of damage. So you have to make sure you have a very good tank or just make sure that he doesn't get the two SP. Um, he is the least threat, uh, the smallest threat in the dungeon. I don't recommend uh, targeting him out. Again, you're going to focus Daverick and then you're going to focus Enera and en Enra, however you say his name, over um, Drip Go. But if you do see here, this guy is a much bigger version of these guys. Usually, if they're bigger, for some reason, I recognize they're strong. I realize they're stronger. So you might want to target him out if he's a bigger version of him. But I still think uh, Daverick is going to be target numero uno. So I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this dungeon until we get to the boss, and I'll see you all there. Okay, we're well, pulling up to the big boy, Igneous. Samarag! What do you say? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> cool down. You said cool down. I will not cool down like ever. <laughs> this guy's lame, <laughs> but he's cool. He looks cool. Okay, so he just comes with one guy, it seems. Um, he's a pretty big, beefy boy. Let's see if we can click on him. Okay, he is a tank. Look at that slow speed. He also has to remove 15%. That is very annoying. Okay, deals damage to the strongest enemy. Okay. Oh, that's a nice little punch. That looks very wonky. <laughs> deals damage to the weakest enemy and to self. Still pretty weak. It's not too bad. Okay. Drain health from all enemies. That's going to be annoying because of the percentage-based damage. If he percentage-based damages you all the way down, you don't get lucky like I did with the Hell Shrine. If your carries aren't good enough, he can just do this once and probably pop just about every DPS that's in your team. Uh, you have damage first enemy and yourself. This is probably his hardest hitting attack. And damage all enemies. That is disgusting. If he does flame strike on you, that's probably a GG for your team if they're not strong enough. But yeah, if you have carries that are, I think, above tier 14, maybe tier 15 and up, you should be fine just autoing this whole dungeon. Even though it looks like you're not fine, trust me, you're fine. Like, I'm gonna auto here. Look at how low health we are, and we're just, boom, they're gone. <laughs> We're fine. Oh, we got our first legendary on our first run. That is amazing. Awesome. That is a great first run. We got a first legendary already. That's pretty great. Okay, cool. So yeah, that is going to be the intro to tier 11. I highly recommend that you farm up as much world boss as possible. Now you can go to your guild. If you're in a guild, which I highly recommend you do, go to your guild shop and save up all of your honor and then just keep buying nothing but zeal pouches, zeal pouches, zeal pouches, because that is where you're getting your DPS familiar and where you're going to be getting your legendary gear if possible. I'm going to be running a lot of zeals soon because I have a lot saved up here. As you can see, I almost have enough to buy, I believe 50? 50 and they each give you five runs. That's 250 runs. I'm super close to being able to run 250 runs of just world boss. And I'm going to be doing that soon. You best believe it. All right, now that was pretty much the end of uh, tier 10. Thank the lord we're done with that i'm honestly super stoked that we're in tier 11 and i can't wait to get to tier 12 because that's introducing a bunch of really cool sets that i can't wait to try again thank you so much for staying and supporting for watching the videos for helping out all the new players you guys are amazing you're a really great community and i do have a really big announcement that i'm going to be making here and also in a separate video but if you see it here first you were here first i have started live streaming and i'm going to be streaming probably daily i'm going to try to do a daily stream from 10 a.m. Central Time, U.S., all the way to 11 or 12 p.m. Central Time, uh, U.S., which is about one to two hours, uh, 11 a.m. or 12 p.m., one to two hours of streaming, and I'm going to be doing it daily. Um, there might be times where I don't do it because I will be busy trying to do uh, real-life stuff or um, more stuff for my videos, but I did uh, try to uh, find a way to make it very consistent. I'm going to at least do Monday through friday i believe or sunday through monday i'm not sure yet or something monday sunday through thursday i'm going to try to keep it as consistent as possible i'll try to see if i can make a schedule but for right now it's going to be 10 a.m to about 11 to 12 so look out for that i'm going to be streaming on twitch 
and it's going to be the same name as here. I'll link it in the description. It's going to be World Eater on TTV. Thank you so much, guys. I've said thank you so much, but thank you. This is World Eater. I'm signing off, guys. Have a good one. Peace.